Hi Leo and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is from February 15th to February 29, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well, my beautiful Leos. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, I want to first thank everybody here for all your love and support that you have been giving me on my channel. Uh, for those of you that have been following me from the beginning or if you come halfway through or last year or a couple of months ago, or even a couple of weeks ago, um, I want to thank all of you for uh, being present here and for all your love and support. And for the new uh, subscribers that are here, welcome to my platform. Uh, I am a psychic medium and I'm active in my community now for 25 years. And I'm also a channeler and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool on YouTube to deliver you the messages. So this is going to be like a mini reading. It's not going to be like the, the ones that you usually used to where I usually do like an hour readings. Uh, so this is a mini reading and it's the time for St. Valentine. So happy St. Valentine to everybody out there that celebrates that. And this series is gonna be called Cosmic Love. Okay, so uh, let's get started with your reading, Leo. Oh yes, and before I forget, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, all right? So I uh, use the singing bowl to um, clear my energy, my space, and I'm gonna do the same thing for you. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and then exhale, okay? So let's get started. Perfect. Now I will take the spray, of course, spray Archangel Michael, Gabrielle, Raphael, my space, some for you and some for me. Uh, for those of you who are interested in buying this product, you could go on Amazon or Etsy or they have uh, so many pro so many different, um, you know, um, oils and uh, essential oils in it. So the one I chose was sage and rosemary. Okay, let's get started. Let's see which. Okay, so we're going to use, I'm going to use this deck over here for you um remember the reading is for leo sun moon rising and venus but if you have leo also in your jupiter Saturn, mercury and chiron it is also for you whenever you see the reading is right the perfect time <clears throat> so i already shuffled the cards but i'm just going to shuffle them a bit more put them more into your energy my beautiful leos my lioness and lions that are here Put the cards in three and let's see what's happening for you uh, between the february 15th and to february 29 2020. what are the messages Okay, now uh, the reading might resonate with you or it might not resonate with you. Just remember, I'm reading for a collective. So right now, what you're seeing in front of you are your first five cards, okay? And then I will um, I will clarify each and one of them, but I'm going to put them on my altar here, like my desk, and then I will show you. So the Eight of Cups of Energy is talking to me about where a lot of you have walked away from someone. It could be a, a person in your life, a situation. Or it could also be from the past. So some of you have been like put a, you put the, the past behind you, and you are uh, you know that there's good things coming towards you. So you're walking to the ninth cup, which making like the ninth cup talks about making all your dreams come true. Okay, and the sun is shining on this on you. Okay, so a lot of you know that this is you you're entered a good space. 
Three of Cups energy talks about celebration and joy taking place. Okay, maybe after you, you walked away, uh, you, you're feeling in a good space with uh, friendships and people around you. Uh, it also talks about the High Priestess. Okay, so uh, this is a time to retreat, time to be in stillness, uh, to reflect and to trust your intuitions, my beautiful Leos. Um, may, and it also talks about like um, a lot of spiritual insights coming in for you and hidden talents that maybe, especially in the month of February, a lot of you have uh, your spiritual talents that maybe some of you did not know you had, okay, is going to come forefront. And a lot of revealed mysteries through dreams and visions and meditation is taking place here. But there's also something very secretive around this as well, okay? Uh, with the five of wands energy here, it talks about a lot of drama, fighting, maybe not you particularly yourself, maybe you've been dealing with a lot of that, or this could be also within yourself that you are tugging and pulling on something. And with the four cups energy here, it talks about some type of opportunity that's coming for you, but some of you are not interested in looking at it at all. It's not like something that you would like. It's something about not thinking... Um, like thinking outside of the box or uh is what they're telling me they're showing me a box or don't judge its book by its cover maybe some of you are not interested in someone or something here uh, uh and some of you are like not even wanting to see what the opportunity is okay so now i'm going to clarify the eight of cups for you i'll pull out three cards for the eight of cups energy eight of cups So what I see here for some of you is that whatever that you walked away from, now this is, there's two meanings here. Some of you, uh, with the, whatever you walked away from, oops, this card, yeah, here we go. All righty. So whatever that you walked away from, um, okay, and there is good news coming towards you while you're taking your path, okay? Uh, maybe some of you walked away with because it was a third party situation. I'm not talking about it doesn't have to only be for love. Okay, it could be any type of intervention here or two more than one person. Uh, but whatever it is here, it, there's a lot of options for you. Whether they're showing me with the seven of cups and a lot of options, and you have a lot of dreams, and it's time for you to go for it because of the seven. Uh, the seven of cups also talks about like you see there's a there's a rainbow here, right? So these could be this this is a dream come like a lot of dreams. Or blessings coming your way by walking away from the situation. Uh, you also got the ten, the ten of swords, and the ten of swords talks about really um, what it talks about is an ending of a situation where you know in your past you went through a lot of uh, hurt, uh, resentment, guilt. Okay, and some of you are still releasing this. A ten usually signifies an ending of a situation. Okay, even in your thoughts. Okay, your thoughts are going to be not. As negative you're gonna be thinking more positive and knowing that this situation happened for a reason because you also got the five of cups energy which talks about that there's a lot of hurt and resentment maybe guilt shame it is it is like just a lot of negative emotions and you're healing like you're healing this part of yourself okay and you're releasing whatever that is not yours any longer and you know that you have angels and guides around you helping you at this time now um you know, uh, there's a silver lining here for some of you to see and knowing that everything happens for a reason. So I'm going to take out one more card. Now, for others of you, there could also be a lot of confusion at this time. Maybe you feel confused uh, because there's a lot of like you're, you're feeling like mentally um, challenged right now, meaning that you're there's a lot of like um, mental confusion taking place for you as this ending is taking place. And also feeling like that uh, there's some type of healing that needs to be done here with the Eight of Cups energy. Like again, you got the Ten of Wands energy. So there is an ending that's taking place in your life where you felt everything was on your shoulders. And this was maybe from 10 years, even 20 years ago. Okay, it could be for a long time and it took you a long time to walk away from it. Or this could be someone that walked away from you and this is why you're feeling like this, confused and uh, hurt. And uh, But it, it, the Tens usually, they, they become a One. And um, there's more clarity and you're not going to feel so much like that you have a lot on your shoulders if this has, has to do with that 
And what's coming forth is some of you are opening your heart to unconditional love, okay? What I'm seeing that when this situation is walking away, whatever that, whoever, if this is you walk, that you walked away from a situation, you are healing. There's a lot of things you're going through, okay? There's a lot of options out there and to keep moving forward because you've got the Ace of Cups energy. So there is like a relationship here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. It doesn't have to be. But this is sacred love, true love that's here. And it's going to open your heart. It's going to expand your heart. Some of you are expanding and, uh, your heart to unconditional love here, okay, as well. Now, let's look at the Three of Cups energy. What's the Three of Cups all about? Okay, so some of you, uh, with the Three of Cups energy, uh, I feel that someone is, uh, now there's many interpretations here, but what they're showing me is that there's a lot of frustration here for some of you. Uh, you know, uh, the Nine Wands talks about everything you went through, and um, it talks about where you're still standing, you're still holding on, you're still going forward, okay? Uh, but you got the ten, the ten of Wands already, okay? This could also mean some of you are blocking a situation, or, or you're blocking, maybe you walked away from someone and you're blocking someone, or vice versa, right? But there is a Knight of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Someone that's going to come in and tell you the truth. There's some kind of truth that's coming towards you. And it will bring you some type of liberation, okay? And it will be unexpected. Okay, well, whatever the situation is, a lot of you right now are releasing or have released already. It could be that some of you already have released the situation. With the Ace of Cups, you also got the Ace of Pentacles. So there is, if this is a love situation for you, there is some type of stability that's coming in with you with love, okay? True love, sacred love that's coming towards you and stability. This could also mean for others of you, there is some type of um, promotion or job or unexpected money that's coming your way. And what it shows me here is that um, you uh, have manifested this, uh, Bambifo Leos, okay? You manifested whatever that's coming towards you. And uh, what it looks up to me now, it looks like stable and there is true love here, okay? You could just, you are manifesting whatever your heart's desire. Now, let's look at the High Priestess. What is the High Priestess all about? I want to take out three cards from that. High Priestess. Okay. So, whoever does, the, uh, the, I got the Knight of Wands reversed, followed by the Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. So this is someone from the past that you put a, a next to, you blocked or they blocked you. I don't know, because it, like I said, it could be vice versa, okay? And uh, this was someone that was kept coming in and out of your life, okay? Um, you had a lot of time to reflect and reevaluate everything before you took that, that you took that time. You took time. It took you a while to, or it took you time to reevaluate every, everything about this person because a lot of you, what you did is what I feel for some of you, you're, you're the one that walked away from a particular situation in the past where someone was coming in and out of your life, okay, and caused you a lot of stress. And what's coming towards you is the two of wands energy. So the gates are opening. So maybe that's what the secret is from the universe is that a lot of you, uh, the gates are opening. And I think with your last reading in February, if you did, uh, if, I don't know if you did see the the reading I did for you in February, your monthly reading, where I said that the doors are opening, like like there's something magical taking place uh, with you in, at this moment. And um, so the gates are opening here, align, your chakras are aligned, okay? And someone is coming in, okay? Uh, like they're coming in, making short-term plans with you. And they're ha they have the same vision and goal as you, but the doors are finally opening for you with this high priestess. Now let's look at the five of wands energy here. Well, from the five of wands, you went to the seven of wands energy. That's good. Okay. That means that you're rising above this energy, uh, this energy, negative energy, or just people wanting to get at you in any, every moment. So because you see how the sticks are lower and you're on the higher, so you are vibrating higher. Okay. And you are releasing yourself from negative people and energy. So that's very good to see. 
Now let's see what else is here. Okay. You got also the Knight of Coins. So there is someone coming in towards Virgo or Capricorn. They're taking their time, but when they come in, I feel it could also be around springtime or forever or, you know, um, whenever spring is. Um, I think it could be also March, in the month of March, whatever the case is. Uh, there is someone coming in. Um, now, whether this is love, okay, if this is love, it's going to be, a, there's going to be stable and love here, unconditional love. There's going to be some type of stableness here. A quick message, unexpected message will come in for you. And the people, this person is coming in very slowly, but when they come in, they, uh, they're the type of people that they have your back, okay? Like I have your back. <laughs> and you know what I mean, right? My beautiful Leos. And if this is, has to do with, um, you know, a job or something, there is something here that's coming in with stability and success with the six of wands energy so there will be success here uh, success in the relationship success in finances it's all there now let's look at the four of cups energy four of cups energy i got here okay with the eight of uh, pentacles some of you are working hard okay in a, on a project maybe going back to school maybe you had to learn something new you're reading about it you've been maybe a lot of you have been reading about maybe even self-love and whatever the case is, okay, and really working late hours at night, maybe not sleeping a lot. There's an opportunity here that's for you. And uh, you got the star card. So the wishes, your wishing coming true, wishes that are coming true for you. Uh, maybe you're dealing with Aquarius energy. This could be taking place or already been took place for you where there's a healing and a blessing that's coming in, good health opportunities and inspiration, okay? And let's see what the Four of Cups energy here is with the Eight of Coins and the star card oh here we go there we go and you got the ace of swords so you have the ace of swords the ace of pentacles and ace of cups here okay this is freedom coming towards you clarity okay and things like you could not see before you're going to get clarity through dreams and visions at night or through your meditations this is speaking clearly a lot of great ideas taking place cutting through what is no longer serving you and through the people or negative attachments that are taking place and to bless you even more, you got the sun card, my beautiful Leos. I also, I, I associate this card also with you, besides the strength card. Uh, this is what I see you as, my beautiful Leos, okay? And the sun card talks about, like, material happiness, success. It talks about good fortune, happiness, joy, and harmony. And the universe is, like, uh, coming together and agreeing with your path and helping you, helping you to move forward into something greater. So the sun is shining on you. And this is beautiful, okay? And underneath the deck, I got the Ten of Pentacles. So if this is, Cosmic Love uh, series is about love, uh, so if it, this is it, if this is reading is for you about love, it's a stable relationship, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is two people coming together, sharing their wealth. There's a lot of stability here. This is a soulmate energy as well, okay? Um, this is unexpected uh, financial gain that's coming to you. Where you're going to be at peace and uh, happiness that's taking place okay so this is your reading now i'm going to take a, a card from um the universe okay so i will take a card from the universe to see what is in store what does the universe want to tell you my beautiful leos okay this is for leos from february 15th to february 29 2020 what does the universe want to tell my beautiful leos See me in their eyes. I don't know which sign got this. I don't remember, but I did a, I think someone else got this. Um, so it says, whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit or ascending, ascendant tree, always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. Amen. The universe. So see me in their eyes. And... I also took a lover's oracle card. I'll take also a lover's oracle card for you. Something fell. Okay. Who knows? <laughs> Something dropped. I'll figure it out after. Uh, so this is a card also for you. And it says, My beloved, though we may though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you in the, uh, in the time. Out. I'll see you in March, my beautiful deals. I'm going to be doing it again weekly, so I can't wait to do that. Uh, and um, take care, okay? And know that I have your back and that I love you. Bye.